Creative Services is basically an in-house um, creative content marketing agency for the university. Um, so within Creative Services, uh, we have our web team, our web designers that run our website and manage our website. We have uh, graphic designers, which um, any given day are creating print materials for the university, different departments like that. We have a uh, basically an ads manager who does ad buys and contracts with you know billboard companies, uh, TV stations, magazines, anything like that to help sell our ads or buy ad placements. Um, we have a photographer. Um, and then over here we have our video production side and so underneath me in the video production we have two sides. <laughs> we have marketing video which is what I'm over um, and then we have broadcast video so um, they cover all of our live sporting events, graduation, things like that. There is no typical day in creative services, unfortunately. There's no, I come in, I do work, I go home. Uh, every day brings something different that you could see. Uh, for me specifically as the broadcast videographer, it's mostly that I come in around 10 and I hopefully get through some emails and I get to work on a little bit of editing, be it for a video or for motion graphics. And then I typically, closer to around four or five, I will go on site to a live event, stay through the live event, and then I'm normally home around 11. If you wanted to work for digital media services, you really don't have to have too much in regards to qualifications. We will take anyone and everyone as they come. We would prefer that they have an interest in media and having any type of background in media does help, but anyone willing to learn and put the work in is all that you need. It is beneficial because you're in an environment where you're continuously learning about what you love. If this is your type of field, this is a perfect way to get hands on instead of just learning in the classroom. As good as teaching you what you need to know as far as the books and you know techniques while you're in the classroom but this is a good way to apply and actually get a feel for what you may want to do it's like still really strange to me because i'm not used to like getting a ton of like positive feedback from people um, but you know whenever i'm on campus like students will approach me and like tell me that they've seen different things we've produced um, so that's really cool and so when i started here like three years ago um, there was not like a marketing video department internally like this. So I basically started up that program, which was a lot of fun. But when it started, you could see that campus, there wasn't a whole lot of school spirit, there wasn't anything like that. And so after we had kind of gone through a year of producing these hype videos and really exciting pieces at events and sporting events and stuff like that, you'd start to see the culture at those events change a little bit. And so as opposed to us showing up and trying to make the video look like there's a lot of spirit, um, those things were really happening in real life. So in a way, like, I think our work um, kind of influenced uh, the culture on campus a little bit over, over the course of, you know, two, three years. In five years, you know, looking at what we do now, I just see it as being an even, an even better in-house marketing team. Um, the marketing that we do now is quite recent, you know, within the past five years. So. In the next five years, I'm sure that it'll be even bigger and better as far as you know the people that we're reaching, the different type of content that we'll look to create. Who knows what type of techniques or style will be up with even in the next year, or the next two years. So within the next five years, that's a very long time because stuff like this, it, it moves fast. So it's, it's exciting to look forward to. So creating like video content and content in general, um, is developing so quickly. I mean, if you think about this, like three years ago when I first started, there wasn't, um, they had pretty much just added like 60 second video to Instagram. In fact, I think when I first started, there like wasn't 60 second video, there's 15 second video. Um, and then now there's Instagram stories, there's IGTV, um, there's all these other resources. So it's like the, the type of content that we're creating is just ever changing. So in five years, there's going to be, you know, another Instagram, probably another Facebook, something else out there like that. And so being able to story tell in whatever way, in whatever format comes about is going to be really important. So we're always, the, the main goal here, like I said, is we want to story tell, make the students feel empowered, bring in new students and influence the culture. And so we're going to keep doing that however we can um, based on whatever that platform is that's going to deliver that to our audience. In five years, I see Creative Services being a much larger in-house production uh, company. 
we have nowhere to go but up to continuously create and expand and grow. And I see us getting, you know, more individuals, more talented, gifted individuals who can come in and create great work and make it bigger and make it better just so we can continue to give Valdosta State the good name that we've started with, the name that we've grown and we can keep growing.